toss to you. Catch. Behind, behind. Again, just get it loose. Behind, behind. One or two dribbles, whatever you need. Get it loose. Just finish it in at the rim. in with uh, Anthony Gill, Akeem Mitchell, and Evan Harville. And so Evan, he was on staff with the Swarm two years ago, and Anthony Gill and Akeem, those are both pros overseas. So um, it's usually just a lot of shots this time of year. Um, when it gets to be around July, we do a lot more live in situation and stuff like that. But right now, it's just getting reps in, working on new dribble combos and stuff like that. But usually, we try to keep it simple and keep it game-like. Um, so. Today, um, a little bit of the footage was a little bit more than usual off the balance. We're not really doing triple moves all the time because how many times do you do that in a game, you know? So it was just uh, a little bit more off the balance today and just working on creating separation um, into a lot of three-point shots. So it was a good workout and it was about an hour and a half and then we got a little bit of ones in, but I don't know, we're not, we're not counting that, so. <laughs> yeah, so right now we have this group call with the directing staff for the TBT, um, which is the beginning of July and training camp is uh, next week. So right now, I guess we're just doing like a medical check-in or something like that. And uh, to be honest, I don't know. We have a group call at noon. So yeah, I'm about to dial in a little bit. There we go. There we go. Please announce yourself. Trey Phils. If you guys can hear me, just say hey. Hey, what's going on? Okay, 
Yeah, I just got off the phone with one of the directors for the TBT basketball tournament where the prize is $2 million. Um, it's a little crazy this year because of COVID-19. So this phone call was basically just going over all of the health uh, things they're trying to put in place so that we have a safe tournament and guys are limiting exposure to the community. We're going to Ohio. Um, so honestly, it's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be testing every day. They're gonna be checking in on us. There's gonna be uh, social distancing in place within the hotel room. So even between like our team, I think they're gonna try and limit the amount of times we're out of the hotel room. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge just kind of having to focus on winning you know, four games that are gonna be high level on national TV um, in the midst of all this. But honestly, I think that it's gonna make for a memorable tournament and it's gonna be really fun. So all this stuff taken care of, all this stuff will be just a, you know, just a small little speed bump if it means we're winning $2 million as a team. So yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but my dad actually played in the NBA D League back when that was a thing. Um, he played for Sioux Falls, which is a part of the Miami Heat organization. And I don't even know if they were affiliated with them back then or what, but it was a little bit different. But he started uh, in the D-League and he actually spent some time overseas as well before he ended up playing for the Cleveland Cavaliers and uh, the Charlotte Hornets. So just seeing the path that he took kind of let me know that there's more than one way to make it to the, to the top level, whatever that is, if it's the NBA, if it's EuroLeague overseas or whatever. Um, so. Um, a lot of guys talk down on the G League and, you know, they say it's not the NBA yet, but I think it's growing and I think uh, for me personally, this is, you know, professional basketball and it's not where I want to be yet, you know, it's not like the ultimate goal, but um, I think that there's a lot of room for growth for me as a player. I think I'm taking steps forward from college and I'm excited to just grow and take it for what it is and hope to get on the radar of a couple NBA teams. and overseas market as well. There's a lot of ways to be successful. So I love it and uh, I'm not complacent with where I am, but I'm just excited to just keep taking steps forward. This past summer, it was my birthday, uh, July 25th, and I was in Houston and we were playing pickup and uh, I was playing with like James Harden, um, just like a bunch of other pros. But I remember like James specifically because it was the Rockets facility, the beard walks in, everyone's like, uh, like, you know, it was just a really cool moment and I had to wait my turn. I had to wait like three, four games to play pickup. And when I ended up getting out there, it was kind of one of those things where like, I just felt really comfortable. And, you know, I, I was scoring, I was, you know, making plays, uh, playing good defense. And it was just one of those things where I was like, this feels the exact same as it always has, but I'm doing it against James Harden, and, you know, other guys on the Rockets, you know, like Daniel House was there. Um, so, yeah, bro, it, to be honest, like, I never really had a moment where I was like, yep, it's time for me to, to make money off of this. It was just kind of like I always trusted and believed in my game and knew it would translate when I had the opportunity. Well, how you doing? I'm doing well, man. It's good to hear from you. Yes, sir. That um, crazy day today, finally got my merch from TikTok. Um, long story short, I do TikTok on the side, man, and I'm at 400,000 followers. So in celebration of that, I'm coming out with a line of hoodies and t-shirts, phone cases, all of that. And it's based on a series called Keep Climbing. And it's basically just like a docu-series following my journey through the G League and hopefully to the NBA or overseas or wherever. But I'm just putting it all on TikTok and uh, I guess a couple people have enjoyed it, so it's I'm at 400,000. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing here, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. I already know what it looks like, but it's not in person. Yo, know, shout out FanArc. FanArc uh, works with like influencers, athletes, all that stuff. So it's even crazy that I'm talking about this like this. I guess I'm an influencer now, so it's wild. Um, yeah, man. Wow. Wow. Oh, this must be the small. This the hey, this the medium. <laughs> this the medium right here. But uh, so yeah, uh, the hoodie, man. Zoom in on that. Uh, Faith by Works. And basically, uh, I came up with the idea just because it kind of is a good reflection of just my career so far. It's just a product of me putting in the work in and having faith in God and myself 
and just believing that, you know, anything is possible if you put the work into it. So hopefully this is an inspiration to just whoever follows my series, um, whatever kids or, you know, it's not even basketball. It's just like whatever you put your mind to, man, just have faith and put in the work and things will come out great. So it's like a little streetwear inspired hoodie. Yeah, man, Faith Law Works hoodies. Um, so yeah, we can drop the link here or here or all, this, <laughs> all around. But yeah, man, these are the hoodies. Um, I'm excited. And even nobody buys them. It's something meaningful to me and my friends and family. So, you know, I like it. It's cool. Yeah, man. Uh, so I just feel like this is all a product of just being more than just like a hooper, being more than just an athlete. Uh, like if you watch my TikTok videos, half of them, you wouldn't even know that I play basketball or anything. And I just feel like the more you can kind of put yourself out there and just have fun and just do things that really like inspire you or things that you love or just follow your passion, you never know where it can take you. So for example, I downloaded TikTok during quarantine when uh, the G League season got canceled. Now I'm sitting at 400 and some thousand followers and it's all because I had a love for just making funny videos with my friends or you know, just joking around on like Snapchat and sending videos through that. And I just started putting them on TikTok and a lot of people just were like, hey, this guy, has fun, he loves what he does, he works hard at it, and uh, all this is a product of that. So the more you can kind of showcase who you are as a person outside of the court, I feel like it just leads to so many opportunities. So whether that's you know football and you have some other talent or even something you might be like ashamed of or think people might not think is cool, trust me, there's a lot of people out there that you can relate to and they can relate to your story and your interest outside of your sport. So. All right, so this part of my day is, might be my favorite part of the day is when I shoot TikToks and I use my backyard, if you can like, you can like flip the camera and see. So I'll be messing around in the pool or like on the court sometimes. Um, so today I have a trick shot planned. I don't know how it's gonna go. It's a little wet outside, a little rainy, but I think it might make for a better video. So we're gonna mess around with some options here. Um, Rain or shine, baby. We gotta gotta get this content out. Gotta stay safe out here. Stay dry. So yeah, we're ready. We're ready to film. <laughs> All right. Um, just some quick keys to going viral on TikTok. The video has to be well lit. Dark videos don't get pushed out. The video has to be great. So I'm gonna try and catch the sun. The sun's coming from here, so I might want the camera like at a lower angle so that it kind of like meets the rim in a good spot. I don't know if that makes sense, but in my head it makes sense. So the video has to be well lit. It can't be too long and there has to be like a clear buildup. So whether you use the song, like where it rises and there's a drop, or whether if you just have some like visual level of like tension rising in the video. Oh, also, uh, high quality video. So before you start a, a video, you gotta like hit your phone with a little wipe off i swear it makes a big difference because if you're like me your face is greasy or your hands are greasy or something and that always like takes the quality down so I'll always wipe the camera down i want you to be able to see the ball the whole way because if the ball leaves the frame you're gonna get 100 comments saying oh the video's fake so you want to see the ball the whole way Yeah, so right now there's a trend with uh, Ayaz's song, Replay. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is grab the sound from that song and put it on this video. And I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it line up with uh, when it goes through the net. So how I do it is I go to Spotify, I already have it pulled up, and I screen record. So now I'm gonna add that file to this video on Splice. What I do is you click the video, you extract the audio. So now I have the audio just sitting right here. And the part I want is that first part. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the original audio from the shot video, just like I did with the other one. So I'm gonna take that out. So now it goes from my original audio seamlessly into the song that I wanted to use. So the full thing should look something like this. Shardies, like a melody and, and 
that's that's it i can't explain why it does well on tiktok but it might it's all about just following a trend and making it your own way so if you had a cooking video and you wanted to do this when you like crack an egg open or something whatever you want you just pay attention to trends and put your own twist on it so those are uh, the keys to going viral and we'll hope this video does well so we'll see So that was a little bit in the day of my life. Uh, we started with a 9 a.m. workout. If it wasn't raining, we would have got a little bit of conditioning work in afterwards, but uh, you know that's just how it goes sometimes. So after the workout, I had a conference call with the TBT just to kind of discuss some health things. Um, I had an exit meeting with the Greensboro Swarm just to kind of wrap up the G League season. Um, so that was that was good, and then we finished off with a little bit of TikTok and a little bit of editing one on one. So I hope you take my keys on how to go viral on TikTok. Um, a little bit of my workout. If you see some drills you like, go ahead and implement it in your day. And uh, that's really all I got, man. Hit me up on Instagram at tfills with two S's or hit me up on TikTok at tfills. Uh, so yeah, thanks for uh, being in my life for a day. Appreciate it.